So hello guys, let's discuss this problem in Hackerank called Java method overriding. So actually over method overriding can be complicated to understand for new programmers in Java. But actually it is really easy and actually I have solved Java inheritance 1 and 2 before you can check out those videos. But I know it's really boring to watch 2 or 3 videos to, just to solve one problem. So I'll try to explain you all everything in this video. So see, the thing is, suppose you have this class sports. And it has two methods, which is a get name method and get number of team numbers method. And what I'm doing is this sports, I'm using the sports class as the parent and I'm extending the soccer class. So it means sports is the parent, soccer is the son or daughter, or I should ca call it child actually, instead of son or daughter, whatever. So, okay, it means that a soccer class will have these methods already, which is get name and get number of team numbers. But what I want to do is, I don't want to print out generic sports because soccer is not a generic sport. Soccer is just soccer. So it means that instead of generic sports, I will have to return soccer class as the name. So for that, what I'm going to do is, I will write the same method inside this class again, which is the get name method, same method, but I'm just going to change this generic to soccer and I am that is all which means overriding and just write this add symbol and override which means basically the I'll explain it all the, kind of the by the definition so it means that I am extending this uh, sports class into the child class which is soccer so soccer is my child and I want to write the get name method again but it was already written in this uh, parent class but I don't want that I want to override it override means upon it actually you can say upon it you are just erasing this and using this now basic overriding means you can say cut and paste instead of copying and pasting you are cutting this method cut method cut whatever it is you are just cutting this method and you are using this new method by using this override so basically you are overriding that method and you are instead of generic you are attending soccer class okay this is all this all is fine now let us jump to the problem that we have so okay uh, this seems to be a bit tough to understand. So let's just copy this code and paste it over here on IntelliJ. Oh, hold on. I have already pasted it, I guess, but I'll just do it again. So this is my package and this is my project actually. See. So see, this is our class sports. And before going to that, I'll have to go to the main method obviously because it will execution will start from here. We are created, creating two methods of this sports type, which is actually over here. And sports will have two methods, get name and get number of team numbers, as we discussed before. But the thing is, uh, c1 dot get number of team numbers and c2 dot get number of team numbers. So, okay, this all is fine. After that, what am I doing is, I am extending this soccer, sorry, I am extending the sports. So, it means that soccer is the child, sports is the parent. And I am overriding the get name method, as I told you before. But I, am, I also want to override this method. So to override this method also again, I can simply do this again. So hold on. So I will write the method. So uh, you can write at override. And okay, it is already suggesting us that. And what do we want to override? We want to override this method simply. So why not copy it and paste it? Because I just want to change some of the statements. So I'm overriding this method. But I just want to say each team has 11 players in it. So I want it to be 11 in it and that's all okay and i don't think any we would require any other changes so that is all that we have to do so why not just copy this method and paste it over here where we want the changes to be established correctly so paste it and let us submit this code and see what happens now okay there was one only one test case and it has satisfied perfectly because first of all we use this so see C is the type of sports type. So C1, whenever you use C1, it will print out the generic sports and each time has N players. But the thing is, C2 is of type soccer. So C2 will return soccer class and 11 players. That's what we wanted. So I hope you understood it. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask me in the comment section. So that's all from my side. You can subscribe to our channel to get updates regarding new videos. That's all. Stay tuned. Keep learning. Thank you.